Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bulk Create app in Canva. It's a super simple feature once you get the hang of it and I'll guide you step-by-step step through the process. So let's jump right in. Okay, to start, I've already created a template. And in this example, I'm designing name badges for a children's event. I want each name badge to display a name and a unique animal image. So I'll show you how to set that up. First, I finalized my template design. Once you're happy with your template, it's time to decide which elements will change on each page. In my case, it's the names and the animal images. For the images, I searched for cute animal faces in Canva's element tab and selected the ones that I like. However, here's an important tip. You can't use images directly from the elements tab for bulk create. Instead, you have to download them and then upload them back onto Canva. So what I did here was I saved the images to my device as a PNG, or it could be a JPEG, and then re-uploaded them back to Canva via the uploads tab. Next, I'll return to my name batch template and add a picture frame where I want the animal image to appear. I used a floral style frame, but you can choose whatever frame you like. And then, I placed one of the images I've uploaded into the frame as a placeholder. Now for the main part, which is using the bulk edit app. To access it, go to the apps tab on the left-hand side, click on it, and then type in the search bar, bulk create. And once you do, you'll have two options to either enter the data manually or upload data. In this video, I'll show you both methods. So let's start with the entering data manually. If you choose to enter data manually, one, click the enter data manually button. Then two, a table will appear. Canva may automatically add a column for names, but if not, you can add one by clicking add text column. Then three, you need to include images for this example. So click add image column. And then four, enter the data for each name badge. Type the names in the text column and add your images by clicking in a cell and then searching for one of your uploaded images you have saved. Select it and then continue the process. Once you have everything entered, then click done and then save the data. Whether you enter data manually or uploaded a file, the next step is to connect the data to your template. So one, select an element on your template that you want to change. Example, placeholder, name, or image. Then two, click connect data at the top of the screen. And then three, assign the correct column from your data to the element. So example, link the name placeholder to the names column. And then repeat this process for all elements you want to update. Once everything is linked, click continue to review the data. And then if everything looks correct, click generate designs. Canva will then create a new page for each row of data in your spreadsheet. If you prefer to use a spreadsheet now, Canva supports the following file formats, XLSX, which is Microsoft Excel, CSV, and TSV. I use Google Sheets, but what's cool that I just realized with Google is that it now has a feature that allows you to insert images directly into cells. So here's how to prepare your spreadsheet. Add your columns, name them, and then add your data below. So for me, I added the names as well as the images in each column. Then save your spreadsheet and upload it to Canva via the Bulk Create app by clicking Upload Data. Once uploaded, Canva will display a preview of the data. Do the same steps as you would with entering your data manually, and when done, click on Generate Designs, in which then you will see your new pages added. And that's it. You successfully used the Bulk Edit app in Canva to automate your design process. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. Stay blessed, and bye for now.